Hello, Willow Davis, how's it going? Today, we're gonna be making some vegan chocolate chip cookies, but not just any vegan chocolate chip cookies. These are Drake's famous, the rapper Drake. We'll have to explain in time, but uh, I, I picked up the ingredients and we're gonna make this happen, okay? I think I got everything this calls for, in a sense. So this recipe was allegedly sent to Anthony Fantano from Drake. And uh, as the DMs read, it seemed like it was just a cool looking vegan chocolate chip recipe that uh, Drake found that he was hoping Anthony Fantano could try. It didn't seem like he'd tried it himself before sending it, which was interesting. But there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of details to this scenario apparently. But what it called for, you could see it here. I pretty much got all the stuff fairly exact. I got the coconut oil. I should be able to scoop that. Got the light brown sugar. Called for coconut milk. It like uh, the Thai variety, which is apparently thicker. Listen, I couldn't find it. I was at Target. This is what I got. Hope that works out. I don't know. I had applesauce. I think it's still good. I think it's unsweetened. It doesn't really say. I don't remember. Now it called for two cups of chocolate chips. I could have sworn I had more chocolate. So I was just gonna chop that up because the chocolate chips were way too expensive at Target for some reason. But it turns out I did not have as much leftover chocolate bars as I thought. So I got like less than a cup here, but honestly that's fine. I'm not a huge chocolate fan anyway. Uh, so I think it'll work out okay. I'll just have to, we're just dealing with some chunks, some chopped up chocolate chunks there. It'll be all right. Also kind of cold for like big flakes of uh, sea salt. I have this Himalayan pink salt. I just set the grinder to the biggest size. I think it'll work out pretty similar, you know? So here's the actual story as far as I've perceived it. I'm actually just gonna preheat my oven to 375 right now. So Anthony Fantano, a music reviewer on YouTube, The Needle Drop, um, I guess he reviewed a recent album from Drake, or I'm assuming it's an album. Listen, I didn't listen to it. Uh, I guess I guess that means he got some music out recently, and he gave it a a not good rating. And as as I'll, I'll, I'm gonna tell it in like time order as the things came out here. And according to Anthony Fantano, uh, Drake sent him some DMs and basically said like, hey, sorry you didn't like it, but there's always next time or whatever. Um, and then sent this recipe for vegan chocolate chip cookies. This is all according to Anthony Fantano. He posted a whole video about it and everything. I actually need to get some parchment paper. So it was a, a, a fancy looking recipe and he kind of breaks it down in his video there. And it was just very interesting, like, oh, you gave Drake's album a poor review. I'm just also getting a baking sheet, sorry. And he sent he sent you a recipe for cookies that doesn't really... That's, I mean, get nice of him, I guess. But as it turned out, that was a lie. He got us. Fantano got us. Drake did not actually DM him a cookie recipe. But he did DM him, and we'll get to that. I need to start with the dry ingredients here. Or not the dry, I need to... I need to combine the coconut oil, brown sugar, and vanilla right now. I don't know why I thought otherwise. Now, unfortunately, Drake here didn't uh, specify if the brown sugar should be packed when you measure it. I, I did that because I think that's pretty standard. Maybe it goes without saying, although it was specified in there to not pack the flour, when I feel like that pretty much goes without saying most times. I guess it depends on what you're making. Two teaspoons of vanilla, and this is the coconut oil and light brown sugar. I'm just gonna mix this together, apparently. Now, so, as I was saying before, it turns out that was not actually Drake sending a cookie recipe. Anthony Fantano seems to have made it up, but Drake, I guess unable to cope with the thought of some people actually thinking that he may have sent a vegan chocolate chip cookie recipe to Fantano, all nice. Unable to live with the thought of people thinking that, or some people at least, he, Drake, uh, decided to just screenshot and show the actual DMs between him and Fantano, which included just Drake saying mean things to Anthony Fantano. Uh, because he didn't like his album, and which also Fantano didn't even bother responding to it looked like. Uh, so what it turned out being 
was that Drake didn't like Fantano's review of his music, so he sent him nasty messages over 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 direct messages and instead of doing anything weird with them or whatever fantano just made up that he actually sent him a cookie recipe and drake was so upset at the at the thought that people might actually believe that that he <laughs> posted his own nasty messages that he sent to Fantano for the public to see. So this recipe is in fact just a random thing posted by Anthony Fantano. So I'm making it and I hope it's an actual recipe cause I, I'm putting in the trouble here, you know? Okay, and I have here the coconut milk and the applesauce, a quarter cup each right there. Again, the recipe you can find at screenshot. I'm sure I put it up on the screen at some point. So I'm not worried too much about telling you every ingredient amount and stuff. I do appreciate Fantana, um, fellow, fellow thick vegan here. Although I think I got him, I think I got him beat on that front uh, by by a good amount. I I win the thicker vegan. Um, but you know, good stuff. He's a funny guy. Does good work. This is getting an odd color to it. I think it's the coconut oil kind of getting cold with the coconut milk. The coconut milk was refrigerated. So it's kind of trying to re-solidify. So let me give this a good working here. I'm, I'm looking at the ingredients to make sure I actually incorporate everything already. Uh, here I have the flour, baking soda, and salt going into the wet mixture apparently, which still is all like, kind of like splotchy looking. Maybe it's just too cool, I don't know, but I, it's gonna be all right, I think. I whisked all this together, knock all that into there. Okay, just doing what the recipe says here. I would have thought add the wet to the dry, but that would just be a random guess on my part. And then just mix this together and then putting in most of the chocolate chips, apparently. And we're just gonna throw this on the tray in three tablespoon sized mounds, a couple inches apart from each other, it said. And it said, bake them until edges are golden brown and the center is set, which usually if I'm making cookies, I'll take them out before the center is set because then by the time you get them out and they're sitting there still hot, then they'll eventually get solid. So I'm a little concerned that these are going to be burned on the bottom if I do what it says. But we'll see what happens during the baking process, I suppose. Um, it also said this dough is supposed to be pretty dry, I think, or thick at least. It's supposed to be thick. It's looking fairly thick. Probably not the thickest cookie dough I've ever seen, so we'll, I'll determine if I need to add a little more flour or whatever because it's quite sticky at the moment so i don't know if you could see but uh i don't know fantano this better be a real recipe because i'm making these cookies i mean it sounds pretty legit so we'll see how it turns out hopefully i don't ruin it okay i must say i actually ended up adding a pretty significant amount of flour because it was very very loose and sticky and to be honest with you it's still pretty sticky and globby but i i really did add a lot of flour in here so i don't want to go too far off the path here and really not enough chocolate chips in here i mean there's you'll see but uh this looks like a three tablespoonish thing i'm not really measuring it per se now this looks like a little bit too much actually but uh, we'll just let that one, we'll just let that be a trial one. Say a couple, couple inches apart or something. Oh, this is gonna be, the, it's very loose. This is gonna bleed off to the sides probably. Let me get this figured out off camera. Okay, wow, so I actually ended up needing to make two batches here. So I, these are not in the oven yet. I just put them on here. I put, this is the first one I was working on and I was like, wow, these are really gonna spread. So didn't want to risk it. So there's a second one I'm gonna have to do after. But wow, these, as I said, these are definitely gonna spread out, but they do look good. I hope that it works out. It's just very sticky. I can't imagine this like rising that much or whatever. Not that cookies really rise, but I just hope they set okay, you know? It's better be a real recipe is, is all I'm saying. Very odd shapes and whatever I got. So let's throw these in the oven. I'm just gonna do one at a time. I really don't trust my oven to have like stuff on multiple levels and cook the same, you know? Uh, I wanna have good good air flowing around it. Not that it's convection, but you know, just have everything even. So let's start with this thing here and see how they come out. 
I wasn't going to open the oven before I thought they were ready, but when I peeked in and saw, I had to real quick. What the hell is going on with these? Oh my God, they're huge. And uh, they don't look set in the middle, but they are getting a little brown on the edges. So I might take them out. I'm gonna take them out in one minute. We'll just hope for the best. I don't know, they're, they're huge, they're gigantic. That, that's so funny too, because I was sitting here like, ah oh man, maybe I should have made them smaller and more spread out, but I think that would have been even worse. It just would have been more, I don't know. We have like a couple, <laughs> like a few of these per cookie. Really undershot the uh, chocolate in these. Okay, and here's some pink Himalayan salt and large chunks. Maybe a little too big. Okay, there you go. I hope that works. Okay, here we are a few minutes later with these. Uh, once I put on top, it kind of melted. I feel like that probably wouldn't have happened as much if I had used actual chocolate chips, but maybe still. But it's actually looking like they're probably going to, um, you know, harden up, solidify uh, once it cools down. I just took it. I don't have like a. I don't have a cooling rack. I just took it off of the thing and put it on the cool counter. They're not really that hot anymore, so it should be. All right, and these just came out, and honestly, I think I accidentally put them in a little bit longer, but I think it's gonna work out better. Like, this is already, these are blazing hot, and this is already looking like it's like, it's got more structure to it, you know, and they didn't kind of bleed into each other as much. Uh, I'm not sure what the difference is. I guess I made slightly smaller scoops with this one and left them in a little longer. Or maybe the oven was a little hotter at that point, which it shouldn't have been, but you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's looking uh, good so far. We're gonna let this cool and see how it goes. Okay, it's been a good uh, couple of minutes here. I got the flash on just to show some added textural detail here. They look great. Zoom, optical zoom, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, uh, so these ones are the first batch here. Um, they kind of pretty much set, you know, a little, maybe a little gooey still, but hey, sometimes that's just how the cookie ends up being. This is how the cookie crumbles. These ones are a little more, a little more solid. I think they're a little bit warmer too, because a couple minutes younger. But, um, yeah, so we're just go ahead and give this a try. I guess it really was a cookie recipe after all. It wasn't just some, uh, made up thing here. I probably made these too big. I'm ripping it. Hold on, let me do this now on camera. Jamie's trying. But this one, this one's a little, it's a little floppy still. I think the she took one from the second batch. It looked a little crunchier. It's like a soft, like a Subway cookie. What would you rate it? Nine out of ten. A light nine or a strong nine? I thought I could fold it in half like a Brooklyn style slice. I almost wish there was a little more chocolate, but I know we were low on chocolate. That's my bad, I should have had more chocolate. Well, 10 out of 10. Look at this gooping. Would have been a 10 out of 10 if I had more chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of the dark chocolate bar melted in here. It's called bitter. I got it, to, I got a hand to you. I wasn't too sure if this was gonna work out, but it worked out pretty decently. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of the dark chocolate baked in here, but found a good use for the rest of that coconut milk. These cookies pretty pretty good. I think the recipe is has more potential than the cookies that I ended up making. I think I think these could have these could have been made better out of that recipe. I think I kind of through just swapping certain things out whatever it turned out to be like. And eh. so I give my cookies here Maybe a seven to a light eight. But I gotta say, I do think that the, um, this like style of cookie here in this recipe has a uh, has has big potential. So thanks for the, thanks Drake. Really appreciate you looking out for the vegans here. You know. So anyway, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out the other videos on my channel. Sometimes I'll make some vegan stuff. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's intentionally horrible. Sometimes we just sit there and laugh at really bad recipes that I don't even try to make. It's a great time. And yeah, other than that, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.